Uh, it's inspirational because I'm thinking a little bit of another prophet to, uh, to I, I'll paraphrase him as saying, you know, I see the mountain and I, you may get there before me. I think, <laughs> I'm afraid I think you guys will get there before me. <laughs> but anyway, it's, uh, it's been a long, hard road and particularly when you see detention uh, in last year went up, thir uh, went up by 13 percent. You know, it's a lot more than inflation. At any rate, uh, at this time, I'd like to ask Amos, Amos Colley to, to come speak. Amos is a representative from the, or, excuse me, the Harlem Park Reform Church. Uh, and as we all know on the bus, we were talking about it, Highland, the Highland Park Reform Church has been in the vanguard of getting comprehensive rights for, uh, for immigrants, particularly Indonesians in their, in their community. And of course, they've had a trying time, and I think we owe them uh, a, 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 a lot of thanks for, these, for the, the, the visionary stuff that uh, they and their pastor, uh, Seth Kepperdale, have come up with. At any rate, so I would like to turn the, uh, the, the, the phone over, <laughs> the microphone over to, uh, to Amos. Amos, congratulations. Thanks for being here. Um. This is, this is a really emotional um, experience to be a part of this, so thank you for uh, including me and the other interns from Highland Park uh, and so warmly welcoming us. Um, it's a really emotional issue for, for me and for us. I sat down with my pastor Seth, and we I came up with kind of a statement um, to to bring to you all. So I'm going to read them. <laughs> Hi, my name is Amos Cayley. I stand before you today as one who does weekly visits at Delaney Hall and Elizabeth Detention Center. I speak for myself, for the church that I am a member of, the Reformed Church of Highland Park, and also for my my pastor Seth Copperdale who could not attend today, unfortunately. I think this car needs to be. Since 2006, the Reformed Church of Highland Park has experienced firsthand that immigration, detention, and irrational removal is one of the worst sins being perpetuated by our American government today. It started for us with 37 Indonesians, Indonesian fathers being rounded up in one night during a pre-dawn raid on an, on an apartment complex with dozens of Indonesians. 37 husbands and dads who had lived and worked here for eight years after fleeing religious persecution were, in the blink of an eye, detained after 30, and after 30 days in detention, they were deported. Many have never seen their wives or children again. As a congregation with a large number of Indonesian refugees who have had endless trouble with their status, we have seen the way that detention and removal have led to the breakup of families, the ruining of marriages, financial devastation, and trauma. We have had at least 90 people in our congregation's life, our members and our friends, who have been deported after long stays in detention centers like this one. Having connected, having connected with many of you and many immigrant communities, we know that the struggles our community has faced are no different and no more severe than the struggles faced by all undocumented immigrants. Our negative experiences with ICE concerning the Indonesian community led us to want to, know, want to get to know a broader population of those who suffer at the hands of this sinful system. And so we have visited with at least 80 other people over the past four years from ar around the globe who have come to these shores seeking asylum or have been living in America with spouses and children and are now locked up, some for upwards of two years, despite what they tell you. We have paid to keep the lights on for New Jersey immigrant spouses and children whose breadwinners are locked up. We have endlessly, endlessly sought attorneys and work to get people released whenever possible. We are so thankful for the work of all of the groups in the New Jersey Coalition, 
Together, with all our individual and communal efforts and voiced frustrations, we are letting the government know that we are outraged. Probably the most disappointing thing for us. This guy needs to get through. Sorry. <coughs> Probably the most disappointing thing for us over the past four years has been the way that the for-profit detention system has been expanding under President Obama and the ways that detention and removal have increased rather than decreased during his watch. It is also intolerable for us to realize that no major changes have even been pushed for or proposed by President Obama in terms of legislative changes since 2010. Various policies, some very good, have led to some short-term relief, but no major laws have been worked for. As it stands today, this president has actually been the worst president in decades in terms of immigration. And so it is with a great deal of sadness, really, that the Reformed Church of Highland Park has become a sanctuary church. Until the president and his administration provides leadership that is just for the least of these, and for the last in our society, we will provide the leadership as best we can. This is not what we want to do. All of creation is God's sanctuary. It is wrong that individuals have to live in our church. But until there is a better day, we will be the sanctuary that we hope will one day be over all the earth. Since March 1st, 2012, we have started saying to the people we love who are not being loved or treated fairly by our government, if the government won't treat you right, we will come inside. Since March 1st, we have had nine people with final deportation orders move into the church for the purpose of staying there with their families, with their communities, and for the purpose of working and waiting for a better day. On the bus, uh, we heard that there were 11 there are actually nine because two that we extended sanctuary to were just deported this past weekend. Uh, Justa and Marlene, keep them in your prayers. What's that? We extended sanctuary to them and they decided to report on the good, on the, the, um, the trust that if they reported, they would have the option at that point to either uh, go on with their case or, or accept our sanctuary, and they were arrested right at their report. So, and, and uh, at New in Newark. Okay, uh, I get really moved. Um, one way to look at what we are doing is that we are providing an alternative to detention. If the nine people living in our church had been detained for the length of time that they've been living in our church, the government would have spent at least $132,900 for their care just since March 1st. What does that mean? $132,900. Sanctuary has cost the government nothing. It's a heavy cost. One would hope that the government might look at that sort of reality when it's trying to reduce the budget. But maybe that inexpensive alternative is exactly what many in government are afraid of. Maybe for the for-profit centers that are owned and operated, most of them by former government officials, maybe they want an expensive system. Maybe they want to be lining their pockets with the wealth raised by spending public tax dollars on non-criminals who should not be deportation priorities. Brothers and sisters of faith, I tell you, this system is sin upon sin. President Obama recently said on the campaign trail that, quote, immigration reform was his biggest failure, end quote. To that, we can all say, quote, amen. Let us hold our government accountable to walking this path of repentance. May it be the case that in the months and years to come, we will see our president, our lawmakers, our courts, 
all of those we have entrusted to make just decisions, that they will join their voices with ours. And on that day, we will insist together that the walls come tumbling down. Thank you. Excuse me. The Island Park Reformed Church. Uh, and as we all know on the bus, we were talking about it. Highland, the Highland Park Reformed Church has been in the vanguard of getting comprehensive rights for uh, it's inspirational because I'm thinking a little bit of another prophet who uh, I'll paraphrase him as saying I see the mountain and I, you may get there before me I think, I'm afraid I think you guys will get there before me <laughs> but anyway, it's, uh, it's like to turn the, uh, the, the, the phone over <laughs> the microphone over to, uh, to Amos Amos, congratulations and thanks for being here Um, this is is a really emotional um, for immigrants, particularly Indonesians in their in their community, and of course they've had a trying time, and I think we owe them uh, a, a, a lot of thanks for these for the the, the visionary stuff that uh, they and their pastor uh, Seth Kepperdale have come up with. At any rate, so I would been a long hard road, and particularly when you see detention uh, in last year went up thir uh, went up by 13 percent. You know, it's a lot more than inflation. At any rate, uh, at this time, I'd like to ask Amos, Amos Colley to, to come speak. Amos is a representative from the 